hello friends and welcome to this presentation we are going to be looking at a simply supported beam just like this with two columns and a foundation just like this in revit and then we apply load and see how to design and generate reinforcement for all of these structural members very fast just like i have this model just like this okay load has been applied successfully let's for instance i want to generate my reinforcement for the beams the columns and as well as the foundations i will come over to where i have this uh, uh power pack detailing and i'll click on the constructive uh, disposition this provisions at this point i will need to select the beams and then i will select the uh columns and then the two footings just like this and then i click on finished so once i click on finished it gives the program some seconds to actually calculate and generate reinforcement you can see how the reinforcement is being generated for all of the structural uh, member successfully just like this okay so we are going to be modeling this simple frame in this presentation and then we'll apply the load successfully and carry out the design i want to start it from scratch don't forget to like the lesson don't forget to subscribe this is revit uh 2022 so let us get started by creating a new uh template so i will be navigating to file right there and then i click on the new right there okay so in this provisions of the new project i will come to browser and then I will have to click in these provisions and go to templates and then I will select English. All right, then I will come over to structural templates. Okay, structural template metrics as a default metric. This one I will get that double click on that to select that template. Click on the OK options and then after which is going to create a structural metric template for me. Okay, just like this. All right, so this is what I have. This is old ones. Okay, so this one is now the new one. Okay, so I'm having level one and two. So quickly, I will navigate to the south and then I work on these levels. For this level one, I will call it uh, zero one. Okay, zero one uh, ground level, zero one ground, just like this. All right, click on the yes options to have that in place. For this one, I will just call it zero two. All right, first. Just like this, yes, options. Okay, so uh, I will be having a uh, top of foundations. Okay, top of foundation level. So I'll go to the structure and I'll click on the level right there. So in these provisions, I will click here to make sure that it is structural plan I'm creating. So I'm not creating ceiling, I'm not creating a floor plan, just structural plan. I click on the okay options, and then I will be using these options of uh, peak line. Then I will have to provide a foundation depth for the footing depth of my footings which i will take it to be 400 for the sake of this lessons and then i click and there's provisions to have it just like this after which i modify click on this again and then i will try to i will expand this double click here to give it a name as a uh, t dot o dot f which is a top of foundation click outside and click on the yes options to get that in place just like this okay i want to also use the elbow to reposition this so that it doesn't uh, actually clash with this other one okay so having done this now so and now we get to the uh zero one three uh ground level and then uh, we come to structure i'll create my grid lines i will only have only uh four three grid lines i have one in the horizontal directions just like this and i have another one in the vertical directions just like this i will give this one name uh escape that i'll give name to this as uh a right there and this this one it's going to be one all right then i will have to go back to grid again and then to pick point options i will offset my the the length of the beam will be 4500 and then i'll offset that just like this okay so i'm having uh my grid line set out just like this let me just uh, adjust this a little bit closer like this okay a little bit closer all right so i want to be placing my foundations right away so i will come over to where i have isolated foundations and then i'll select in this drop down menu i only have a, a bigger sizes so i will click on edit mode i'll duplicate this i need as foundations of 1300 by 1300 by 400 millimeter which is the thickness all right I click on the okay options over here i'll have 400 over here 1300 
1300 right there and then I will also add 1300 right there is a square footings I'm considering in this case so just like this I click on the OK options and then I placed a foundation there all right and I placed the other one there okay so after which this at a ground level I will go to the uh, first floor level okay so I have to modify to decide that I'll go to this first floor level over here I'll be having my reinforced concrete columns so for the reinforced concrete columns, I will be using a vertical columns right there, not a slant column, and it's going to be a concrete uh, a reinforced concrete column just like this. So I will duplicate this. I want to be having a columns size of two two five by two two five, just like this. Mm. Sorry, this is three three five two two five. I wanted two two five like this. Okay, options, and then I will also edit it right away in that provisions and also in this provisions just like this and then I click on the OK options I'll place the columns this point and this point so at the same level I'll be also placing the beam okay so I'll go to structural beams right there this one and then I will try to navigate to reinforce concrete beam of this size I will edit it right duplicate this so I will be having a beam of 225 225 just like this by 450 depth just like this let me use this okay okay so over here the width of the beam is going to be 2 to 5 and then the depth is going to be 450 right just like this click on the okay options and then i will be having a beam connecting these two columns it is a simply supported beam so you can see in that provisions i will modify right there so if i should activate 3d in these provisions you will see i have this okay so i can't obey this all the way around just like this okay so this is what i have so with this now i want to be applying load on this so that we can carry out the uh, automatic reinforcement uh, generating okay so for us to apply load you can just come to structure and click in these provisions and then you have this dialogue okay over here you can be able to see uh load cases so uh, at default revit has uh, eight numbers of uh, load cases as you can see as well as load nature so you can also add um, and as well removed depending if you get one selected you can be able to remove and all of that but uh, we're not going to do that for now we'll go to loading combinations so here is the loading combinations where you can be able to create and generate your loading successfully loading combination successfully i will cancel it also you can come to the view and then come to uh come to the sorry come to analysis and then the same thing you have your load cases this one just the same thing you get through the structure right so you can also have it also through uh this uh, load combinations so all right so at this point you want to start to create a little combination so you want to add uh life loads you want to add the uh dead load dead load and life load and then the loading combinations of the dead and life okay this three so now we expand this and we we'll be able to give this a name all right now revit does not have anything to do with the name okay so we we'll calling this one now <laughs> we call it this one dead load okay so we call it dead load sorry call it uh, dead all right then for this one we we'll call it life load we'll call this one life okay then for this one we are going to call it uh life plus dead plus life okay so it's going to be dead plus life so just like this okay so now we want to be considering the formula for this so we'll select the first one we'll select this first one all right so we are going to be uh, adding the formula so you click on add right there to have that so for the factors of the date load we'll be having it as a 1.4 okay 1.4 of date load sorry 1.4 of date load uh, this is bs810 from bs810 right so and then for the life load we now click in the provision of the life okay and then we will have uh uh for the life load we have a 1.6 okay uh 1.6 right there of the life load okay of the life load 1.6 so you can't actually select in these provisions and be able to choose this is dead load all right sorry All right, so after having the dead load and the life load, the other one is the combination of the two. So you're going to add from here, and then you will be able to change the factor here. Let's say we use a 1.2 right there. 
all right 1.2 and then we add again plus the live load we also have it to be 1.6 right there okay so after which we come to the the type okay over here you have the type is it envelope it is a combination okay then the state over here you can quickly change it to ultimate state okay so this is not the service serviceability change auto ultimate then over here we can't also have a use yet what is it used for what is the load to be used for okay so you can add that from here okay so for this one is the gravity right so we key in gravity just like this click here to add it up there then come to this provisions and add again then you will call this one let's call this one combination okay just like this and then click here to add so this is how we created uh, loadings uh, combinations okay after which click on the okay options all right so now we want to be applying the load on the simply supported beams so what we need to do is we will need to navigate to where we have uh, you see loads yeah okay on the analytical model you see loads there okay so we click on this uh, provisions to have a uh, load and just like this you can see we have a point load we have a line load we have an area load now if you are using any of these options you have about six options of loadings in revit okay so if you are using any of these options one two three you make sure that you select the level for instance if i select a line load like this it will give you an option to select what level am i applying it okay so but if you are using this one that said hosted hosted meaning you are going to select the particular object to apply it so for instance i want to be applying live uh i want to be applying a hosted line load on this beam so i will select this one so once i select this then if we come up with a loading provisions yeah yeah i can key in the forces okay so i'm only interested in the forces from the fz which is the vertical directions and then it is a gravity so it's going to be minus uh i will have a load on the beam i say what minus uh 15 kilo newtons right there on that beam okay so that is you have to get your selected the load cases you can see load case one this is what a dead load okay this is a dead load just for instance if you select in these provisions you have a lot of uh, loading uh, cases right here okay so i select the dead load okay we have already added the combinations over there okay in that load case provisions okay so now we are considering the load this will be too much on these beams okay so let me just make it 10 which is like a wall load on the beams okay a wall load with an height of uh, let's say a height of 2.9 uh, meters okay so with this i can just select this okay once i select this see my load is it's been applied just like this you see so the next load i'll be applying is the live load this is the dead load okay so i'll apply live loads uh, uh, right there so over here i will change this to uh i'll change it to three kilo newton for my live load just like this and then i will select here to have a live, live load so i will place load on this now straight away i will come to modify to get rid of that and then i will navigate to the uh the power pack uh detailing okay and then i will using constructive uh constructive dispositions i click right there so and now i will just have to select these uh, beams i will select the two columns and then uh, select the concrete kind uh, of footage slider right this one's just like there i click on finish so once i click on finish observe what will happen to the structure and then it's going to generate the reinforcement from foundations the columns <coughs> and as well as the beams successfully just like this okay so i'll click to close this uh, provisions so you see how this is being generated successfully and automatically all right so this also creates a, a kind of a calculation sheet for these designs okay for instance if i will show you the calculation sheet for this design and the bending moment as well okay so for the beams here is the calculation sheet okay so you can see it right away all right so here is the bending moment and the shear force diagram successfully generated all right so if you come down you see the full calculations of that beams the same thing for the columns and the rest of that all right so this is how easy it is to carry out this for more advanced lesson or you want to join our master program in revit uh, uh master training program in revit you can see a link in the description of the video all right so that we can you can also enroll in the master program but this is just a, a kind of how we apply load and generate reinforcement okay so subsequently we'll be looking at how to detail this okay and then have it in 2d put it in a sheet all right so stay tuned stay connected don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe i'm so freezing thank you for staying through the review stay safe and bye for now